I know there are a few people who love, 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 love lore in video games. And I do to a certain extent, but there comes a time when it becomes a little bit too much and it just slows everything down. Ooh, sorry. Especially when you're doing a let's play. I don't want to slow down the action too much and I already know we've just had an episode which was basically a completely talky episode. And I know people enjoy the talky episodes. It does break up the, uh, the constant murderizing that, that we see throughout this game. And, and it's a nice change of pace, you know? Um, plus, it's always fun listening to these characters, getting a little bit more in-depth backstory. And it enriches them, and that's always fun. It's great to be back. Feels good to be in an Alliance uniform again. Welcome aboard, Chief. Which one's Chief? Which one's Chief? You didn't specify. Shepard. Nothing to report. Damn it. We're gonna need to visit these guys a lot more often, I'm afraid. Need anything, Commander? Um... No, I think we're all good. I think I've asked about all of these already. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. And... We have just Diana Allers down here because Javik's upstairs bickering with Garrus. I say bickering, he's he's being that guy at the party who one-ups. So, are you doing a story on the Asari who were turned into Reaper creatures? The Ardat Yakshi? No. I think that story would be perfect for you. The hidden dark side of the most beautiful race in the galaxy. We have a huge Asari audience. If I do that story, I could lose them. That seems a bit like pandering. Ever seen how fast an e-democracy can abandon its allies? No. If I do my job, you won't. She makes a good point. Has Elenko had media training? He just gave me the steady stare during our interview. No, no, that's just Caden. Don't worry about it. Do we need to talk, Commander? No. Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. I know a lot of people really wanted me to push that button on the bottom, but I'm not going to. I'm No, she's a useful asset, and I think it would be smart to, to keep her on board, even if you don't like her personality. Hold on, we're just gonna go down to the shuttle bay. Even if you don't like her personality, this is war. You gotta you kinda have to get over the people you don't like and and kinda deal with it for the better of the cause. The M thirty five Mako. It's got heart, you know. Oh, come on. The M forty four hammerhead is vastly superior. Come on, that thing's made of tissue paper. At least the Mako can take a few hits. I'd hope so. That thing handles like a drunk rhino. No agility whatsoever. More like a bull that can climb and climb for days. <laughs> it only climbs because of its stupid, vertically aligned mass effect fields. Jump or stick. No speed. No lateral movement. Hey, with a cannon like that, who needs to move? If you want that, why don't you just stick with the old M29 Grizzly? Hey, I love that tank. <laughs> you would be one to love grizzly bears, Mr. Vega. <laughs> what? What's so funny? <laughs> I don't entirely get the joke. Well, I have my suspicions, but I can't be certain. Oh, but I love the banter between these two guys. Also, Cortez, I love the Mako. I know a lot of you audience members out there really didn't like it because it did have a tendency to roll. And I only ever rolled it during the recording. No other time. No other time. And I've played that game many times. Okay? It is a great vehicle. And I barely got hit, really. It, it dodged wonderfully. Shepard, thanks again for being there at the refugee memorial. I feel better. Everything's so much clearer now. Glad I could help. The next time you blow up a monastery, let me know you've left the premises, okay? I worry about you. That last mission on Novaria shows why I love the Kodiak. All you did was drop us off and bug her out. How are you proud of that? I seem to remember being shot at the whole time and everyone coming back in one piece, Mr. Vega. Yeah, the next time park it and come join the party, Esteban. Is everything okay, Shepard? Well, he kind of joined that one time on, um... Oh, whatever planet that was on the in the Leviathan DLC. Although he really didn't do that much shooting. He did a lot of spraying and praying and then hiding. Sorry, Cortez. Love you. Hey. Oh, that's it? Oh, fine. Fine. And there's nothing else to do in here. I guess we can check uh, requisitions, considering we didn't probably go properly go through um, all of the stores on the Citadel while we were there. Uh, Nosastra? Uh, 
pistol? No. Collector armor? No. Uh, those are SMG stuffs. Batarian state arms? Not seeing anything. I mean... No, not the terminus armor. I wasn't... I was thinking of a different armor. Uh, the inferno armor, which is actually good for power usage and power damage, but, um... These are what I'm looking for. Weapon damage, again. Serta, Metagel. Cast of Fabrication. Mm. Oh, Sniper. No, that's a Thermal Clip. Mm. You know what, I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it just in case. Even though we are working our way towards the pistol. Melee damage is not my thing. Agor Munitions, Pistol Scope. Kawashi Visor, Weapon Damage, nope. Capacitor, Shield Regen, nope. Spectre Requisitions. No. Also, just a big no. Cypratine? Again, might as well. And finally, Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. Um, you guys, no. I guess I bought the Inferno Armor and just decided never to use it. Ah, uh, it's hard to remember some of these things. I'm sorry. Alright, um, we're all good. We're gonna... We are going to continue on with the plan that I wrote down. Jeez. Oh, damn it. We need to talk to Joker and Edie. We always need to talk to Joker and Edie. If we don't talk to anyone else, we talk to Joker and Edie, Cortez, and Ken and Gabby. That's it. That's all we talk to. That's all. Who? You know what? You get my point. I, I'm sorry I screwed that phrasing up. Commander. Oh, wait. Huh? Hello, Shepard. I guess you're all updated. But yeah, I remember I said a few episodes ago, I, I've started writing down plans. Well, basically, my plan at no point involved talking to all of the members of the crew. It, it basically comprised of wrapping up on the Citadel and going on... Which mission is it? And leave orbit. And doing find the ex scientist. We're also going to take a quick look around just in case there are any other glowing lights. Uh, no, no, looks like we're all good. But yeah, I meant to do this mission ages ago and then for some weird reason my brain got all muddled up and I decided, hey, let's do the N7 Cerberus fighter base mission thinking it was exactly this mission. No, I wanted to do this one as a priority. Um, for reasons that, um, I guess you will find out? Yeah, we'll leave it as a bit of a surprise. I, for some bizarre, unexplainable reason, I completely forgot that I had to bring a team with me for this. Not that I was under the impression that Shepard would be going down on this mission alone, just for some weird reason I completely, I completely forgot I needed to bring a squad, as if this was gonna be a giant cutscene, or something along those lines. Um... Okay, I'm having difficulty choosing who to bring for this mission, mostly because I don't remember uh, who I brought last time. I have a funny feeling Garrus was with me, um, along with whoever has an ammo power, because I feel like I was trying to test out his concussion ability. Although, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I didn't actually use his concussion ability. Um, hmm. Okay, so I think we can bring Edie and Javik on this mission. I think, because I've, I have a funny feeling I would have paired Garrus either with Liara or James. James because he's got incendiary ammo, and Liara because she's got warp ammo, and those are the only ones I'm really sure of. Um, Javik, as far as I remember, doesn't have an ammo power, and Edie might have an overcharge, but I, again, it's kind of escaping me right now. So as a safe bet, let's let's try these two. Fingers crossed. Uh, uh, everything should be fine with their their weapons. I guess we can give them a quick check. It's been a while. Um, you have that and that. Again, perfectly okay with those. Oh. Uh, yeah. I I really don't know what to do. I'm not gonna trade out any of the pistols until we've got the uh, the one from the Citadel DLC. Ooh, and we can finally afford this. Not that I'm ever really gonna use Singularity. Nah, they're they're gonna be the odd moments, but still, I don't, I don't actually know where I was going with that sentence. Still, um, it's nice to upgrade it because we've got all of these powers. If I could upgrade Flare anymore, I would. Ed, Defense Matrix just by one. 
And Javik, what have you got for- Ooh! It's been a while since I've brought you out, good sir. Uh, lift grenades. That seems to be the direction I was heading in. Oop, nope. There we go. What's the word? Do we know how long these scientists have been holed up out here? We have not been provided many details. Sir, I'm picking up chatter from a Cerberus squad engaging the supply depot. Engaging the scientists? And if I'm reading it right, sounds like more troops are on the way. Okay, set us down then get out of here. I need these scientists alive. Is it just me or does Shepard seem surprised that Cerberus is attacking the scientists? As if... Well, they're ex Cerberus scientists and we know how they treated Miranda when she tried to leave, so... It's not really that big of a surprise to us. I don't think it should be a surprise to Shepard either. Ooh, and they're scientists, so... And no, Morden was a scientist. Liara is a scientist. Both of them are perfectly adept at killing Cerberus and Reaper agents. Oh, and yes, Jacob. Jacob's here. That's why I wanted to do this a lot earlier on instead of the uh, N7 Cerberus fighter base mission. Because Jacob, we get to see him. And Jacob, incidentally, I thought we trained you better than this. You got shot in the side rescuing somebody. Seriously. I thought you had biotics on your side to help, actually. Should have used that. Alright, just keep moving. Alright, whoa, 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 whoa. One second. I just wanted to double check, yes, Edie does not have that, that ammo ability. Although I could have just, I should have thought about checking that a little earlier on when we were upgrading her powers. Oh well, no matter. What did these people do to bring this down on their heads? Ooh. Apparently, I'm still really rusty with a sniper rifle. Damn. The problem is, I record these, like, these episodes once a week. Usually. Sometimes one every two weeks. So that doesn't really give me a lot of time to practice with the sniper. Although, I don't know, I'm not doing too badly. Maybe what I need to do is just play a side game whilst I'm playing along with this, although that would really confuse me in the way, um, in the way of story and whatnot. Because then I'm just going to be constantly... Oh, you just keeled over and died. Because then I'd just constantly be asking myself, Wait, I thought we did this mission. We haven't done this mission? Oh, oh, in which case, I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's see if we need to pick up some ammo. Nope, all good. Let's slowly go over and help the idiots who got themselves hurt. Wait, where? Jacob? There you are. Well, looky what we have here. Tisk tisk, Jacob. Tisk tisk. This is Bryn. Jacob. How bad? I'll live. I think. This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance. The enemy is clear for now. Open the door. Is Jacob there? It's okay, Bryn. That was probably wise, considering there's no way you can just trust a random voice over the communicator. Anybody could have been pretending to be Shepard. Especially when there's that VI that's out there that is meant to completely mimic us. Although, let's be honest, it does a terrible job, but nobody Jacob. else will know that. Oh my god. Just, just anybody who knows him in the flesh. I'm alright. The others didn't make it. What are you doing here? I'm supposed to be protecting these people from the elusive man and his attack dogs. Are they gone? For now, but they'll be back. Uh, sure you're okay? Yeah, I'll walk it off. Uh, save my life one more time and I'll start owing you. What do you mean start? This one's on the house. Shepard, this is Dr. Bryn Cole. She's in charge here. Tell me what's going on. Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex-Cerberus. Scientists, mostly. Civilians? Call us refugees. If we hadn't run, we'd be dead. Why does the elusive man want to kill you? Our stories are different, but the themes are the same. We were each using information from the collector base to work on the different components of a larger tech. After someone completed their component, they disappeared. No bodies, just gone. 
As we progressed, we started feeling like we were signing each other's death warrants. Yeah, I, I don't understand Cerberus' thinking in that, sure. You don't want them running along with this intel to the Alliance or to whatever other faction uh, may be competing with Cerberus, but at the same time, these are really intelligent people you're dealing with. They can put two and two together after all. The elusive man doesn't mess around. If he can't control it, he'll destroy it. The brain trust here has to be a significant loss for him. You had to know they were going to find you. It's a pretty smart bunch. We covered our bases. But the elusive man is one tenacious bastard. Time to evacuate. Agreed. Just need to get the AA guns on the roof back online. Cerberus is jamming them somehow. With those guns down, Cerberus will just blow our escape shuttles out of the sky. Might be the network link. I'll check and meet you upstairs. Jacob, you should get that wound looked at. I'm good. I mean, I will. Commander, I should see to my people. Join me upstairs when you can. Does it feel Jacob like to anybody else that they changed the voice actor for Jacob? To surprise him. Let's just focus on the mission, Edie. Ah, damn it. That's one of the reasons why I brought you, Edie. I wanted you to surprise him and then Jacob Finish to go, wait, what? Who, who are you? And then I really wanted him to get a good look at Javik because, hey, Protheans, collectors, it would have been, it would have been hilarious to see so his facial sorry. reaction. Your partner was brave. He wouldn't want you to crumble like this. He's right. We're getting out of here alive. I promise. Thank you. And I can definitely promise that because I know the future. Uh, because I've played this game before. Not to call your life a video game, but it kind of is. Sorry. Sorry, I can't help but go meta sometimes. <clears throat> I guess it's a little bit of who I am. Commander Shepard, Dr. Gavin Archer, we met on Project Overlord. You've dyed That's your hair. That's one way putting it. Yes. Well, after you took my brother to Grissom Academy, I tried putting all that behind me. I don't suppose you have any news from there. I've heard rumors the Academy is in trouble. Ooh. Ooh. You are a horrible, horrible person, and I really want to do this, but no. I I need I can't do it. It's not in Shepard's bones. I was at Grissom Academy. Cerberus tried abducting the students, but David's okay. Oh, thank God. Commander, you have no idea what that means. It's a little late to start worrying about his safety now. I never stopped. I know you think I'm a monster, and you're yep. right. Not a day goes by where my dreams aren't haunted by what I did to David. All I can do now is hope that one day he forgives me. What are you doing here? I strayed too far from the path. This was my only refuge. As a boy, I wanted to be a scientist remembered for doing right by the world, curing a disease or discovering a new element. Not a monster who tortured his own brother. I'm sorry, but it is really too late to fix that. I mean, to be fair, not many people know about that whole debacle. Unfortunately for him, the guy who's protecting him, Jacob, protecting all of the scientists, which includes him, it, he knows about what you did to your brother. I'm surprised you're still alive or have all of your limbs. Maybe he's missing a few fingers. We'll see. Well, actually, we probably won't. What did you say to the elusive man? I told him if his intention was to work with the devil, he only had to look in the mirror. I wanted out of his nightmare. He just let you go? If it had been that easy, I wouldn't be hiding here. Every Cerberus soldier in the galaxy has orders to shoot me on sight. Yeah, but how did you get away? I mean... Granted, like I said earlier, everybody is super smart here. But how did you get away? It's, it's the getting away from the people firing at you at close proximity that, that interests me. Of course, you probably knew he was going to do that, so you must have had backup plans. I just really want to hear that story. I want to hear everybody's story about how they flipped off the elusive man, because we all hate that guy. We want to hear the stories about how he got embarrassed and how he let all of these, all of these scientists slip through his fingers. What happened to Project Overlord? 